here with Rob Poole, uh, a very convincing 74-47 victory over the Medicine Hat Rattlers. Uh, not quite the game we expected to come out, but still, uh, the Griffins played exceptionally well, uh, very strong defensively. Just your thoughts on tonight's game. Well, I, I thought we came out and played the way we had to play, really. I thought uh, we got consecutive stops and kind of took the wind out of our sails a little bit and got some momentum. And it's always challenging for the visiting team when they have to uh, play a quality team the night before, as they did last night playing Nate, and then have to come into this gym, you know, in a short turnaround. So I thought uh, we established the tempo we wanted to play at, and that was uh, the way the game was going to go. Okay. Megan Wood has been uh, instrumental in the leadership of your team this year. Uh, pretty consistent with right around the 20 points per game mark. Uh, again tonight with 16 points. Uh, just talk about her play and what she's brought to the, the team again this year. Well, her voice in the locker room is definitely one that uh, is something that makes us strong. Uh, she's a very consistent player. She's very coachable. Uh, she has good decision making when she plays in the post and she definitely is a reason why we have been successful so far. Uh, Teammates look up to her. She's very supportive of her teammates' play, and I think uh, she she is a great teammate. Okay, and Paige Canal tonight had a, another outstanding game for you. Um, new to the program as well, but uh, really stood out on the court. Just seemed to have a, a great presence about her tonight. Was named the Canadian Brewhouse Player of the Game. Just some talk on her play. Well, I think that uh, her physical presence is something that really makes the Griffins a strong team. Uh, defensively, she's a solid athlete. She can defend. Uh, she can play undersized inside because she is so strong and uh, I was very pleased with her at concentration at the foul line. She's been struggling at the foul line a little bit and I think tonight she was five for six. So those are all positive signs for, for McEwen as we move ahead this season.